well. But uh, well, one stock which uh, remains in focus is uh, uh, Dhanalakshmi Bank. Uh, remember, they did a QIP and uh, uh, actually quite large QIP, about uh, close to 400 crores. Amitabh uh, Chaturvedi, MD and CEO of Dhanalakshmi Bank, now joins in. Mr. Chaturvedi, thanks a lot for joining us. That's a you know, quite a big equity dilution that we're looking at, uh, about 23%. Uh, uh, going forward, are you done with the fundraising, or you know, there's some more equity dilution that we can expect over the next uh, 12 to 18 months? For this financial year we are through, this 23% dilution, one word you rightly used is quite a big, for us it's a big number, maybe a small number from a banking industry point of view, but 380 crores has come in, this will take care of our March 11 requirement, so whatever is our lending plan, advance book will grow maybe around 70 to 80% during the year, okay. so this will take care of March 11, going forward next year we will see again. So then that means you are looking at a fairly ambitious growth uh, in the current year, uh, if you can give me first an idea of the return on equity what was it before you raised the money and after you raised the money for the moment what's your return on equity and how much time will you take to get back to uh, you know the higher levels see the higher level if you want to compare industry level of 1% plus uh, no, industry level of around uh, 15 to 17 percent maybe somewhere in 2013 we will uh, reach that level see we are very ambitious we are creating a book size now we are sub 7 or 8 percent today and as we will go on raising capital on a yearly basis I don't think it will be possible for us to cross 10 to 12 percent of return on equity there but post 2013 when our book size will be in the region of let's take 50,000 crores of advanced book we will reach a level of 15 to 17 percent on return on equity. But if you can give us some more near term targets because the market will want to uh, assess how much you can manage with this kind of uh, capital in your armory. What kind of a loan growth, what kind of a profit growth, if you can give a number, uh, what kind of a net interest margin growth and what kind of a CASA growth, uh, you know, a cheap deposit growth that you are looking at. I give you broad numbers. We are a listed bank, so for us to give a quarterly number will be slightly difficult. So even if you can give that, an annual number. Huh. Uh, we started the year with around 5,000 crores of our advance book. What we expect we will end the year with somewhere close to 9000 crores of advance book. Mm -hmm. So somewhere in the region of 75 to 80 percent growth in advance book. As the book is small, I don't think the market should look at 70, 80 percent growth there. The book is small. So we will definitely grow much, much faster than the industry. So if industry is growing by 20 percent, we have a luxury for a couple of years to grow at 50 or 60 percent there. This money which we have raised will take care of at least March 11 requirement, definitely the first quarter of next year. Mm -hmm. uh, because with uh, new money coming in, our tier 1 capital is around 820 crores. There will be profit during the year plus the tier 2 capital. So with this money, I can create a book of maybe around 11,000 to 12,000 crores there. The bank is ambitious. Why 11, 12 is a small number. We will be looking at a bigger growth. So there will be a bigger fundraising plan in the first quarter of the next financial year. See the point look at uh, your branch opening, you've been quite aggressive in north and west re regions of India. Uh, going forward, uh, will that be the focus area or will you expand at some other areas as well? So the first phase of the bank, we wanted to make this bank as a pan-India bank. If you see in the old branch network, most of the branches were in southern part of India, predominantly in Kerala. So we got an approval from Reserve Bank last year to open around 66 branches. Most of the branches were in northern part and the western part of India. Bombay today has around 23 uh, branches, Delhi has 12 branches, Calcutta has around 4 branches. So the phase one was to make ourselves present in all India basis that we have done. We do not intend to open new branch this year. Uh, we will definitely open maybe around 125 or 150 branch next year mm -hmm. because we want stability in the branch. All the branches are now up and running. Mo few of the branches are profitable also. What we feel during the year, all the branches will be profitable. So next year we will open a bigger number of branch. Mr. And that time we will select few of the state and make this as a pan India bank. Yeah, uh, just hold your thought for a moment. The Kotak Mahindra bank numbers are flashing. Net interest income has come in at 508 crores. Uh, I think these are uh, these are standalone numbers that we're looking at. Uh, yes, I think they are standalone numbers which are flashing on the screen right now. 508 crores versus 409 crores. Uh, uh, as far as uh, the net profit is concerned, it's coming at 186.9 crores. Uh, mm -hmm versus uh, 90.3 crores. Uh, uh, well, well uh, I think the estimates uh, for uh, NII was at 250, no sorry, not that was the S Bank estimates. Uh, the standalone estimates for Kotak Mahindra Bank was 540 crore. Uh, what have we got in terms of NII? 540, they have done 508. 
So uh, a tad lower than what the street was estimati estimating. 540 was what the street was estimating. We've got 508 crores uh, in the form of uh, NII. In terms of uh, net profit, I think what we have is only a consolidated net profit. That was expected to go to 375 crores. Uh, do we have a consolidated net profit? Mm -hmm. no, no, I think this is a standalone net profit. Don't have estimates for that uh, just yet. Uh, but uh, looks like on the face of it, uh, uh, the numbers are a tad disappointing. Pointing uh, the st uh, stock has clearly given away. Uh, I think clearly NII number is a bit disappointing, and that's what uh, markets haven't liked because uh, in the past, uh, the couple of large cap banking numbers that have come out, they have mm. actually surprised on the way up on the NII front. So, on standalone basis, on purely on banking numbers, uh, the NII is not looking that strong. So, maybe yeah, that's the profit the doubling the perhaps looks good. Difficult to say at the moment what the street was expecting, but yeah, like you said, the NII will go as a disappointment. Uh, it's what a 25% jump, yeah, from uh, 409 crore to 508 crore would amount to a 25% jump in terms of NII. Not a bad number per se, but uh, clearly a tad below what the street was expecting, perhaps closer to 30%. And that's what exactly Axis Bank delivered on a much larger base, closer to 30%. Uh, HDFC Bank numbers also very good. So Kotak Mahindra, the NII numbers are not looking very exciting, but uh, we will really have to wait and see. Kotak has to be looked at as a stock uh, with a whole host of uh, other subsidiaries and activities that they have. Okay, uh, this the consolidated net profit has come in at 327 crores. Uh, okay, so, so what were we looking at? Uh, I think we looked at 375 crores in terms of a consolidated net uh, number. So again, even in terms of consolidated numbers, uh, it's not looking as good as uh, we were expecting. So uh, perhaps there will be disappointment. Yes, the stock is losing even more now, 6 rupees down at this point in time. Uh, that's the consolidated net profit. Uh, we were expecting a higher net profit. Uh, 257 crores. It compares with 257 crores. So that may not a bad number, but uh, still lower than what the street was expecting in terms of... Uh, even for NI, it's uh, the consolidated NI. I, I just saw it... Uh, uh, on the screen, I think it's coming at 727 crores versus uh, 625 crores, no, 792 crores versus 625 crores. So that's a growth of about what uh, around 25% or so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no complaint with the growth per se, but the street clearly was expecting more from, yes, it's a 27% growth uh, uh, as far as the consolidated uh, 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 top line is concerned. But uh, again, the street appears to be still a little wary of these numbers or not entirely happy with these numbers. Uh, Kotak Mahindra Bank, of the of the several bank numbers that have come, this is one that has been a tad disappointing. Let's wait and look at uh, the detailed numbers, how the margins have done. Uh, there is a lot to speak on Kotak Mahindra, not just the banking sector, but uh, the entire financial space. So uh, we will have to really wait by for the more detailed numbers. Uh, just a word about uh, the Nalakshmi Bank, the other uh, private sector bank that we have been uh, speaking about. Uh, Amitabh Chaturvedi, CEO and MD, is still with us. Uh, Amitabh, you know, you've been repeatedly admitting that this is a small bank and you are uh, at the moment scaling up. Uh, SKS Microfinance, which is about to hit the markets, has a slightly higher net worth than uh, the Nalakshmi Bank. Now, would not uh, an inorganic move make a lot of sense? Uh, is there anyone willing to sell or willing to buy? A lot of excitement there in the market. Everyone is waiting for the new RBI guidelines. I guess something will happen. Mm -hmm. uh, when uh, it's a matter to be seen, but you should see something happening in next maybe six months or nine months there. Okay, are you looking at NBFCs also? See, we'll all will have to wait for the new guidelines. There could be guidelines covering NBFC sector also. Consolidation so you don't necessarily have to wait for the new guidelines. Uh, you have just seen a merger uh, happening. Friendly mergers can happen even at this point in time. And there are plenty of small private sector banks in the south, many of which are well run. So uh, a friendly merger is uh, really the uh, need of the hour perhaps? One week back we were classified as a really, really small bank. Okay. With this QIP coming in, today my net own fund is also 1000 crores yes. plus. So now we can talk with uh, uh, position of strength. So there is a capital, there is a team and we have proved in last 18 months we have actually turned around the whole bank there. So maybe the new fruitful discussion could happen going forward. You're, you're speaking with some confidence about six months so you have some game plan. Don't put a word in my mouth, but <laughs> if something has happened, definitely we'll come back to you. Now we are in, the, in a position of strength to talk to somebody saying that team is there, capital is there, let's talk. All right. Amitabh, thank you very thank much you. for dropping by and all the best for thank the year ahead. Well, that's the word coming from Dhanalakshmi Bank. Big plans ahead. Uh,